existing recording. If anybody finds this, I was Midwest Moose before the collapse, before the coronavirus hit. It's day two of the outbreak. We've only got six months of toilet paper left and only three months of beer. Firewood is getting low and I'm in my coronavirus fallout shelter. All I have are food, water, internet, warmth, and I fear I may not make it. So if anybody finds this, Midwest Moose, I was there. Hey guys, Midwest Moose. Today we're doing the, <laughs> the, the axis, finally. It took long enough. Now we're gonna get to it. So, I had a quick idea. What I initially thought was I was gonna build this frame, weld the hangers to the frame, spaced how I need it, and then bolt the whole axle and everything. And then bolt both axles to the hangers and I can roll it and adjust it so I can get a nice triangulation off the hitch. I don't think that's gonna work just because it's flimsy and there's a lot of shifting and playing. So I did was pop the uh, dust covers off of the bearings. I measured center to center on both sides of the axle. I'm here to here. Make sure they were equidistant. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna weld a piece of angle iron right in the center, okay? That will keep my spacing and my distance perfect. Then I'm gonna go through and bust all the bolts out after I, of course, jack and support the trailer, jack everything up and out, wheel this whole assembly out, and then recheck my squareness, and then put maybe two, maybe four more bars across just to maintain our spacing. So once we got our spacing uh, developed, then we can pretty much mold it anywhere. And I'm gonna triangulate, not off the hangers, but off the axle bearing races. I think that's, I mean, that's the one constant that's never gonna change um, when it's going down the road. No, actually, the hanger's not gonna move. So I'm gonna have to figure out some kind of thing between the hangers and the front axle bearing and figure out how I'm gonna triangulate it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just weld. So now we've got that jacked up. Now we gotta do the bust all these bolts out. So let's do it. assembly is completely divorced from the trailer. So now I can pull it out. <laughs> that worked out really good. <laughs> I guess we could just weld it right in there. I think I might do that. 
Holy fuck, that was easy. All right, so now we've got clearance for the tires to run and they won't actually get shredded to shit. We got both sides cut and now we've got to do the center hangers. These things. So I've got them ready to go. I've got another one I'm gonna throw on the uh, drill press. So let's do that. So that really concludes the entire video. We moved the axles, we reinforced everything, we got everything ready to go. We ran out of time and bolts, so we're <laughs> what we're doing for these center hangers is using half inch uh, drills for both sides. Yeah. only because we need to keep a proper amount of redneck fuckery going on here. Obviously, I'm gonna drill them out and get the proper bolts, but for now, we're gonna run drill bits, baby. So, until next time, really, guys, don't, don't contract coronavirus, don't, whatever you do, don't die, because I need you as subscribers, all right? So, stay tuned, because next episode, we're gonna maybe get into hydraulics, or something like that. But really, until then, you fuckers need to save some toilet paper for me. <laughs> but hang tight, guys. Another video's coming. Love you. Or don't. No, I don't love you. Fuck you. Ugh.